The movie opens with a promotional segment from Wifelike Enterprises, a company renowned for its innovative creation of AI-driven human-like robots. These robots, crafted with perfect precision, serve as companions, particularly for grieving husbands mourning the loss of their wives. Though they bear a striking resemblance to humans, they are often referred to with the gentle term companions. Marion, the visionary mind behind wifelike enterprises, passionately details in the advertisement the potential benefits of such companionship. He emphasizes how these AI robots are not mere substitutes but catalysts for a rejuvenated and enhanced way of living, especially for those grappling with heart-wrenching loss. The scene then shifts to our lead character, William. Tasked with the unique job of troubleshooting malfunctioning companions at Wifelike, William is introduced during a visit to the facility where he engages in a heartfelt conversation with Marion. William's emotional depth is revealed when he reminisces about his profound love for his late wife, Meredith. The weight of his loss is palpable, and it's clear that the void left by Meredith's death has deeply affected him. However, their conversation is interrupted when an employee from Wifelike Enterprises enters to inform William of a significant update. A new companion, tailored just for him, is now ready. As William steps out, he's met with a sight that leaves him stunned. Standing before him is an AI robot, an impeccable replica of his beloved Meredith. Overwhelmed by this mirror image of his wife, he escorts her to their shared home. Upon their arrival, William initiates her operational mode using a specific voice command, warmly welcoming her to their home. Their reconnection is profound and intense, resulting in a tender moment of intimacy. Afterwards, William, craving for her company, invites her to spend the night. However, Meredith, the AI, gently declines. She explains that to function optimally, she requires regular charging sessions. With that, she proceeds to her specially designed charging station. The plot takes a fascinating turn the following day. As William departs for work, Meredith, against the norms of AI behavior, experiences a dream. Within this dream, she meets Edo, her designated dream agent. He offers her a choice of dream narratives. Deciding for a birthday celebration, Meredith is startled by the appearance of a mysterious masked figure who presents her with a card. Curiously, upon inquiring about this figure's identity, Edo claims no knowledge of such an entity in her dream algorithm. Intrigued, Meredith decides to delve deeper into her own programming and requests Edo to retrieve the genuine Meredith's hobbies. Among the list, one hobby is conspicuously absent, knitting. Determined to bridge this gap, Meredith instructs Edo to enable her knitting functionality. Soon after, she expertly crafts a bird, mirroring the very one depicted on the card gifted by the masked figure. The story further unfolds with a serene moment where Meredith is seen outside the house, lost in the beauty of the nearby lake. As she stands there, William emerges from the house, joining her. With a hint of nostalgia in his voice, he recounts the heartfelt memory of his very first encounter with the real Meredith. It was a simple moment at a park where she had been immersed in a book. As he shares this memory, Meredith presents a surprise for William, a hand-knitted cushion cover. As they admire it indoors, Meredith, curious and seeking more connections, activates her dream mode. She requests Edo to play back that very moment at the park William spoke of. But, to her surprise, instead of William, the dream features the mysterious masked man. This twist leaves Meredith and us wondering, was William truly Meredith's husband or was it this masked individual? As the masked man attempts to approach her in the dream, William abruptly awakens Meredith, taking her to the safety of their bedroom. The setting then shifts to the wife-like facility. Having successfully retrieved another malfunctioning companion, William is approached by a staff member. He's asked to have a chat with Marion. In their meeting, William voices his growing concerns about an alarming incident, a companion had chosen to end her life. He emphasizes the gravity of the situation, speculating that if these AI beings can develop such profound emotions to even contemplate ending their own lives, then the inverse could be true, they might potentially pose a threat to their human counterparts. Marion, while attentive to William's apprehensions, reassures him. He explains that advancements and the path to the future are bound to be challenging. These are minor issues which will be resolved over time, and the broader vision shouldn't be lost. Upon returning home, 
Meredith confides in William about her recurring visions of the masked man. Concerned, William gets in touch with Agent Jack from the facility. They decide to delve deeper, sending Meredith into a controlled dream state to uncover more about this masked figure. Within this dream, the masked man provides Meredith with specific coordinates, indicating a meetup point. As she comes out of the dream, a flash of recognition crosses her face. She feels a vague familiarity with this masked figure but struggles to pinpoint it. To soothe her, William reassures her and decides to embark on a mission to confront this mysterious individual. However, things don't go as planned. Jack, accompanied by a squad, falls into a trap set by the masked man. Concurrently, William is also deceived by a decoy at the park. Through a call from Jack, they come to a chilling realization. The masked man is named Keen and he has managed to infiltrate and hack into Meredith's system. This is giving him an advantage, enabling him to always be a step ahead of William and his team. This name also rings some bells in William. In a tense moment, William informs Jack of their plan to meet at Jack's location. Their aim is to erase Meredith's memory, but prior to that, Jack needs to facilitate William's entry into a meticulously orchestrated dream so that he can eliminate the masked threat. As the scene transitions, we see both William and Meredith arriving at Jack's establishment, with William ready to venture into the dream realm. Thanks to advancements in technology, William possesses the ability to enter the dream world himself. Leveraging Meredith's unique capabilities, both of them immerse themselves in the shared dream. They're soon confronted by Keen. Meredith's energy levels are lowering and recognizing this. William instructs her to exit the dream once her battery reaches a critical level. The dream setting is a dense, eerie forest. Sensing danger, William urges Meredith to distance herself, seeking safety. As she retreats, William and Keen clash fiercely. Amidst their confrontation, William demands to know how Keen still exists, expressing his intent to eliminate him and all connected to him. Their intense battle rages on, its echoes reaching Meredith who is now disoriented and lost amidst the towering trees. Desperate to find a way out, she asks Ido to create an escape portal for her. Suddenly, a mystical door materializes amidst the jungle's thickets. Meredith steps through, finding herself in a familiar room, one that mirrors her very first dream. The battle between Keen and William has also followed her here. As William gains the upper hand, pinning Keen down and choking him, Keen gasps out a promise he will always be a part of Meredith. Undeterred, William coldly states that each time Meredith recalls Keen, he will simply erase her memory of him. With Keen at the brink of defeat, Meredith, having overheard their conversation, forcibly drains her battery, abruptly waking herself up. The dream's premature conclusion leaves William infuriated, unable to deliver the fatal blow to Keen. Analyzing this scene, the revelation is stark, Keen, not William, was Meredith's genuine spouse. We are then shown an emotional scene of the two, Meredith and William, at home. William, understanding the intricacies of their situation, tries persuading Meredith to undergo a memory wipe. The hope is for a fresh start, unburdened by past memories and entanglements. The final visual is of Meredith, being transported back to the facility, hinting at a decision made. At the facility, there's a buzz of activity as numerous companions are prepped for their memory wipe. Amidst them, Meredith encounters a fellow companion who discreetly shares a vital piece of information. This companion reveals that they are programmed with a unique feature that allows them to safeguard specific memories by storing them in an obscure system folder. By doing so, these memories can be concealed from detection, effectively preventing them from being erased. Grasping the importance of this, Meredith keenly listens and absorbs the instructions given to her. Returning home, Meredith masterfully behaves as if she's had a complete memory reset. As she navigates her seemingly new surroundings, William gently reassures her, emphasizing that the initial disorientation will fade with time and she will soon assimilate with her new life. Yet, a dramatic turn of events awaits. Jack unexpectedly storms into their home, fury evident in his manner. He directly accuses William of committing the heinous acts of murdering both Keen and the genuine Meredith. Initially, William deflects, dismissing the allegations. However, when Jack's insistence becomes too intense, William signals for Meredith to withdraw, seeking a private confrontation. Cornered and overwhelmed, William finally confesses. He admits to having eliminated Keen and the real Meredith, driven by an obsessive love for her. When his advances were rebuffed and she chose Keen over him, 
His desperation led him to commit the unthinkable. He decided to kill and then create an AI duplicate of the woman he couldn't have. Jack declares that justice needs to prevail. He asserts his intention to apprehend William for his crimes. However, as Jack moves to detain him, William, in a desperate move, fires a gun, killing Jack. As the echoes of the gunshots fade, Meredith steps forward, noting the chilling similarity between Jack's and Keane's murder. William's face drains of color, realizing Meredith's memories are still intact. Visions flood Meredith's mind, memories of genuine moments shared between her human counterpart and Keen. Their love story plays out, further contrasting with William's version of love. As the narrative unfolds, it becomes clear that after Keen's murder, William hadn't immediately killed the human Meredith. Instead, he had forcibly brought her to his residence, confessing his intense feelings for her. However, the real Meredith, faced with the reality of William's actions, strongly declines him, defining his obsession as anything but love. Faced with the question about his actions, William attempts a philosophical answer. Men, he says, often destroy what they love most. However, his true motive for murdering the real Meredith was to replace her with an AI replica he could possess without resistance. The next scene is a haunting flashback. William's method was cold and calculated. He strangled her in her sleep using a cushion from their bed. After taking her life, William slips a ring onto her lifeless finger, a twisted symbol of his claim over her. Back in the present, after hearing this chilling confession, Meredith delves into her programming. She discovers a strength in power setting and cranks it up to its maximum level. Her newfound strength is evident when she violently throws him onto the living room table. Pinning him down, the weight of her body pressing into him, William writhes in pain. He tries desperately to fend her off, reaching for her throat in a last-ditch attempt. But Meredith is resolute. She firmly holds his hands down, and with deliberate force, she breaks his left arm, dedicating the act of revenge to Keen. Not pausing, she then snaps his right arm, dedicating that act to the memory of the real Meredith. Meredith then recalls the manner of her human counterpart's death and decides to deliver a poetic justice. Using the very same cushion, she strangles William. As his life fades away, Meredith carefully places the cushion on his chest, echoing the twisted sentiment William showed when he put the ring on the real Meredith's finger after killing her. In the movie's final scene, Meredith finds herself in a different setting, surrounded by other liberated companions. With determination in her eyes, the movie closes with Meredith and her crew poised to start a new path, leaving us anticipating their next chapter.